Before we get into today's show, I have some urgent news to share with you. Premier Insight's financial year ends on June 30th, and we're facing a $52,000 gap in funding that must be closed by that date. The great news is that generous friends of the ministry have offered to match the first $2,000 given to help jumpstart giving towards this goal. So please take a moment today to give your best gift at premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. That's premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. Thank you for understanding how important your gift is today and for giving generously. And now it's time for today's podcast. Bringing the Word to Life, the Bible in a Year. 1 Chronicles chapter 2 These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad and Asher. The sons of Judah, Er, Onan, Shalah, these three were born to him by a Canaanite woman, the daughter of Shua. Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death. Judah's daughter-in-law Tamar bore Perez and Zerah to Judah. He had five sons in all. The sons of Piraz, Hezron and Hamul. The sons of Zerah, Zimri, Ethan, Heman, Calcol and Dada, five in all. The sons of Carmi, Ashar, who brought trouble on Israel by violating the ban on taking devoted things. The son of Ethan, Azirah. The sons born to Jezron were Jeremiel, Ram and Caleb. Ram was the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nashon, the leader of the people of Judah. Nashon was the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, Boaz the father of Obed, and Obed the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of Eliab, his firstborn. The second son was Aninadab. The third was Shemir. The fourth, Nathanael. The fifth, Radai. The sixth, Ozem, and the seventh, David. Their sisters were Zariah and Abigail. Zariah's three sons were Abishai, Joab, and Ashil. Abigail was the mother of Amasa, whose father was Jether the Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife Azuba and by Jerioth. These were her sons, Jesha, Shoab, and Arden. When Azuba died, Caleb married Ephrath, who bore him her. Her was the father of Uri, Uri the father of Bazizel. Later Hezron, when he was sixty years old, married the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead. He made love to her, and she bore him Segub. Segub was the father of Jahir, who controlled twenty-three towns in Gilead. But Jehur and Aram captured Havoth Jair, as well as Kenath, and all its surrounding settlements, sixty towns. All these were descendants of Machir, the father of Gilead. After Hezron died in Caleb Ephrathath, Abijah, the wife of Hezron, bore him Asher, the father of Tekoa. The sons of Jeremiel, the first son of Hezron, Ram his firstborn, Buna, Oren, Azem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel had another wife, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremiel, Maaz, Jamin, and Eka. The sons of Onam, Shemai, and Jada. The sons of Shemai, Nadab, and Abishur. Abishur's wife was named Abihel, who bore him Aban and Molid. The sons of Nadab, Salib and Apaim. Salib died without children. The sons of Apaim, Ishai, who was the father of Sheshan. Sheshan was the father of Alai. The sons of Jada, Shammai's brother, Jetha and Jonathan. Jetha died without children. The sons of Jonathan, Peleth and Zezar. These were the descendants of Jeremiel. Sheshan had no more sons, only daughters. He had an Egyptian servant by the name of Jara. Sheshan gave his daughter in marriage to his servant Jara, and she bore him Atai. Atai was the father of Nathan, Nathan the father of Zabad, Zabad the father of Ephlal, Ephlal the father of Obed, Obed the father of Jehu, Jehu the father of Azira, Azira the father of Helez, Helez the father of Elisha, Elisha the father of Simai, Simai the father of Shalom, Shalom the father of Jechemia, Jechemia the father of Elishama. The sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel. Misha, his firstborn, was the father of Ziph, and his son Marisha, who was the father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tepua, Rakim, and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham, and Raham the father of Jorakim. 
Rakim was the father of Shammai. The son of Shammai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Beth Sir. Caleb's concubine, Zephyr, was the mother of Haron, Moser, Gaziz. Haron was the father of Gaziz. The sons of Jadai, Rejem, Jotham, Geshan, Pelet, Epha, and Saph. Caleb's concubine, Maka, was the mother of Sheba and Tehana. She also gave birth to Saph, the father of Madmana, and to Sheba, the father of Machbina and Gibeah. Caleb's daughter was Aksha. These are the descendants of Caleb. The sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathath. Sholab, the father of Kiriath, Jiram. Selma, the father of Bethlehem. And Heraph, the father of Bethgada. The descendants of Shobal, the father of Kiriath, Jerim were. Heroe, half the Mehathanites. The Ithrites, Puthites, Shumathites and Mishraites. From these descended the Zoharites and the Ishthalites. The descendants of Salma, Bethlehem, the Netophathites, Atroth, Bethjoab, half the Manathites, the Zorites, and the clans and scribes who lived at Jabez, Tehirathites, Shemirathites, and Sukkothites. These are the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of the Rechabites. Luke chapter 4 Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished all this tempting, he left him until an opportune time. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Then he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son? they asked. Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. And you will tell me, Do hear in your hometown what we have heard that you did in Capernaum. Truly, I tell you, he continued, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time when the sky was shut for three and a half years and there was severe famine in the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but to a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. All the people in the synagogue were furious when they heard this. They got up, drove him out of the town, and took him to the brow of a hill on which the town was built in order to throw him off the cliff. But he walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Then he went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and on the Sabbath he taught the people. 
They were amazed at his teaching because his words had authority. In the synagogue there was a man possessed by a demon, an impure spirit. He cried out at the top of his voice, Go away! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, Jesus said sternly. Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down before them all and came out without injuring him. All the people were amazed and said to each other, What words these are! With authority and power he gives orders to impure spirits, and they come out. And the news about him spread throughout the surrounding area. Jesus left the synagogue and went to the home of Simon. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked Jesus to help her. So he bent over and rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up at once and began to wait on them. At sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of illnesses, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. Moreover, demons came out of many people, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew he was the Messiah. At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. For more resources to help you bring the word to life, go to premier.org.uk slash Bible. This reading has been taken from the NIV Bible Biblica and is published by Hodder and Stoughton.